just go into like no nothing. <laughs> just start yeah. talking about crap. <laughs> That's yeah, all I got fine. stuff to talk about. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. All right. So uh, yeah, welcome guys. This is the first, the first double jump uh, podcast of, of sorts. Uh, Melwing's not double here. Double jump podcast. <laughs> Melwing isn't here with us, but uh, I think he's busy, so can get hold of him. He's here in spirit. He's, he's here, here in spirit. spirit. I feel him inside. I feel like <laughs> uh, okay. All right. That came out wrong. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> shouldn't be looming, coming out at all. He's looming right <laughs> over me as I. <laughs> I can feel him on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna be. laughs> so Nintendo had a the final Super Smash Brothers Direct this morning. Well, tonight. Final yes. one. Final one. Which means no Not more time. no more Goku requests. Finally. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, more I'll... Hank Hill. <laughs> can you? Can, I can't even imagine if they put Amiibo a hand kill. Amiibo accessories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'd sell heaps, not. But um, yeah, they started opening it with uh, it was Corin, wasn't it? Corin from the new uh, fi- uh, from Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, the new Fire Emblem yeah. Fs or Fates or whatever you want to call it here. No, um, no. I don't know too much about Fire Emblem, so I didn't really have a strong opinion either no. way. But I feel that they already have enough of those characters. Um, yeah, well, yeah this, this I mean, like, it's like the I think this is what one. the seventh, sixth or seventh oh, the one. Seventh? I... No, I, I think it's the sixth because you got yeah. Ike, yeah. Marth, Lucina, Robin, um, Roy, Roy. Yeah, and Roy then you got this one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they honestly could have picked. Well, honestly, else. I think I think what it is is just like well, Nintendo really sucks at localizing things. <laughs> and a lot of people, yeah. or, a, a lot of people already know who you know this character is. And, well, in Japan, anyway, they know who this character is. They have a history with them. So when you bring him to us, like at least here in the states, we see this character and was like, we have no clue who this character is. It was kind of yeah. like how what uh, they what they did with I mean, like you know Marth and Roy when they brought them in Melee. It's like no one knows who this character is. Now whether or not that's going to make them like a super interesting character, I doubt it, because yeah. he's basically he's basically your avatar in the new Fire Emblem game. That's That's reason right. you can switch from boy to girl, so. And because neither of the states or Europe gets that game till next year, we exactly. don't know anything about this game, this guy. But the thing is, they're mm-hmm. not releasing him till next year, are they? Yep. So no. it probably will drop about the same time the game comes out. I imagine. I would imagine. Most so. likely. Yeah. 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 Just to game. just to give a little bit more. I love Fire. A little bit more. Yeah. Me too. Awakening. Like I don't know this character, but it's like yeah, I'm getting the game he's in. Well, see, for, yeah, for no, me, yeah. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Fire Emblem, but I definitely will check out Fates. It's just something mm-hmm. that looks cool, and there's three different versions, essentially, of the I would, game. So. I would yeah. play Awakening I saw, I saw the collectors. Play yeah, Awakening, Awakening first? Yeah, Awakening is a good way to start. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, because I know it's a strategy RPG, isn't it? So it's going to be hard to yeah, get into. Yeah, it's very, mm-hmm. like, serious. Like, if you've you ever played, like, and Advanced thing, And the thing and with Awakening like is, yeah, you can choose... Mm. With Awakening, you can choose to, like, either go with the original way, which is... When one of your characters dies, they're gone for good. Like, they're gone forever. Or you could do it oh, really? uh, because they did it for new players for the series that you could just have all your characters just, you know, be gone for a little yeah. while and they can come back. So yeah. I would say. holding mode, basically. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. okay, cool. Well, yeah, and, being Nintendo, I would imagine there's some sort of a, uh, a hand holding yeah. mechanism. I heard in there. that one of the. Uh, like for Fire Emblem Fates, like one of them is more traditional and one of them is more like for everybody. More like bare bones, like bare bones. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah. And yeah. The, the third one is just DLC, isn't it? It's just an yeah. extra. Well, apparently, I, I, I didn't know the in the collector's edition, they've got. I think they've got a box. Yeah, there's a yeah. there's a yeah. box. It's like a hundred. Yeah, there's a box collector's edition that's just. Oh, I, I, the, the second I saw it, though, it's just like the art book. Just like the everything oh, yeah. about it, I'm just no, yeah, I'm like it. Fire Emblem art. I missed so. out on the Xenoblade one, so I'm going to get so this. Did one. So did I. So did I. There was like um, literally I heard one that USB had problems, though. We still have the album. The album's good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm a sucker yeah, the for collectors editions, man. Especially, especially yeah. if it's a good one or if I like the game enough, I'll spend money oh on gosh. it. I just want to find the bloody walkthrough for the game. I just I just yeah. need to have the the prima guide for it. This because... year, this year probably the best one for me was definitely Tales of Zestiria because yeah, the art book, the Blu-ray, the um the figures, and then like all the other little tidbits. Oh, good. The only really one we bought this year was the uh, we bought the Mario the Mario Maker one with the amiibo, but we also bought the uh, Project Zero, which is uh, Fatal Frame for you guys. Right. Yeah. It came to the art book and like some <sighs> and Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. you guys are physical I, copies. Next. Yeah, we actually got physical think, copies. <laughs> I think like the only like special edition that I wanted to get but I couldn't was the uh, Metal Gear Solid Five one, the one that came with the. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. We with still have we still have we copies still have hanging around here. Hanging around, but they're two hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm just like, I no, know. I don't think so. Not yeah. for a hand. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, the collector's editions I've got on order is the Zelda ones, so the um, the Wolf Link one with the Twilight Princess HD. Like, I have to get the Dark Souls 3 one. Yeah. That looks neat. But, but not, but not the Prestige neat. one, because that's ridiculously overpriced. Yeah. Bad uh, statue, you, though. I haven't even seen the price right here. The Uncharted 4 one looks oh, the, pretty the cool. second one. Well. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's just basically how much can you stretch your love for what you like. It's pretty yeah. much yeah. how well, it is. How, how wide can you stretch your wallet for the, something? Because yeah. the Hyrule Warriors mm -hmm. Legends on the 3DS is also getting, we're getting a collector's edition as well, and it's Link. Of course you are. Linkle's, of course um, you are. We're getting Linkle's um, uh, compass. We, we get her compass, yeah. Oh. So why so would we not want to do that? So guess who's gonna cosplay as Linkle? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. I'm warming up. I'll be honest. I was, I wasn't kind of like I wasn't very fond of Linkle at first, but she's kind of I'm kind of warming up to her. As if Even she's though, not like, a new waifu for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see when Hyrule but... Warriors comes out on 3DS. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think the game's yeah. going to be all that great on 3DS. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, no. It's going yeah, to have frame no, rate issues like, to the T. It's gonna have it may have frame, frame rate issues on the original 3DS, but maybe not on the, the new 3DS. The new one, probably. But even oh. that, I mean, that game's going to lose so much just by having the downgrade in resolution. Mm -hmm. It's just going to lose a lot of the fun. Yeah. Um, I so, anyway, I, don't, I don't know. Back on topic. Back on the oh, Smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. <laughs> so we all agree that Corrin, we all agree that Corrin could have been used as a different slot for somebody else. But I think Nintendo took the easy route and went, well, Japan knows this character. They've had a game for a couple months, mm -hmm. but also we own the IP. We don't have to spend any money. It also looks uh, horribly yeah. OP. I mean, the ability to pin down a character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Bayonetta also, we'll get to that, but Bayonetta has her thing uh, as well. Well, you'll so. get to that. We'll get one to thing that. I want, yeah. Don't get one me thing started. I want to point out. One thing I want Those to point out. Those legs. Mm. <laughs> Don't get me started, man. I just cleaned up that here. <laughs> the next, thing, okay. the next thing they went on to is all about Cloud, which was announced a couple of weeks ago. Yes, Cloud. Uh, I did. The major thing was it's available now, right? Right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he came out. He came out uh, after the direct. You think he was about like an hour and a half before he came out, and after that right. happened, he came out. Surprisingly, uh, he, he crashed. He crashed the eShop for about ten minutes because no one could download it. Him. And, well, yeah, I don't think that, he would have in Australia because no about three people would have downloaded it. But, yeah. Which I was surprised actually. I was surprised I didn't have trouble downloading him. I was expecting. Now, just so like you the guys, last one, like you guys both have him. I take it. Yeah. 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 I actually, um, I, I took I took the long road and decided to get all the DLC because I didn't have any of the other extra characters besides Mewtwo. So I, I went ahead and downloaded okay. Lucas, Roy, Ryu, and Cloud. Well, so on Mewtwo, now I, I have a, I, I, have, have, I have a, a bone to pick with Nintendo about Mewtwo. I I honestly believe they should have tied Mewtwo into the Amiibo. Now, because they released the Mewtwo Amiibo, I was thinking that maybe if you bought the Amiibo, you're getting this DLC just because you bought the Amiibo as well. That would have been mm -hmm. better. That would have made sense. It would have made. That would have made a lot of sense. An incentive to actually buy but something. Nintendo mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, true. like seriously, they, who would go all that way and buy the Amiibo always. if they're not even going to use it? That's stupid, right? Yeah, Ben. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> But I mean, so you guys have both played. I take it you both played. Yeah, I've, been, I've, yeah. I've honestly, um, I put, I put the uh, the time in literally after I downloaded. I've been playing, playing with Cloud since then. Right. Um, he, for, he kind of reminds me of. Um, he's like a mix between <laughs> Ike and uh, like Ike and Marth. Like as with Marth, at least with doing um his side smash attack. Um, mm -hmm. With I forget, I forget all of his moves. I haven't played Final Fantasy VII in forever. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, I mean they really. I mean it's it's really cool because like he has his down smash is um using his limit breaks, um yeah. but it like changes up over time. Like he will use uh what's that move called? I don't know. like 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 I said I don't remember all the moves but. They said something about him, uh, his down smash being like a, a charges the limit break. Yeah? Yes, yeah, it, does, it yes. charges the it charges the limit break. But once you actually okay. physically have the full limit break, it actually can be used as a move. I think it's called um, I think it's, it's just called like the finisher. It's basically, he does like yeah. a whirlwind move. It so does. It does. Yeah. 
Yeah, it does, does like, very little piece, damage. And, and I think he also does, like... He does something else, too. It's like the, a... The limit break, like they said slash. it powers up your regular attacks as well. Yeah. Like your regular slash. Yeah. So that's cool. It's kind of and it's, it's pretty much, it's pretty much like, uh, if yeah. you can compare it to anything, it's like Little Max KO Punch. It's kind of like that. Yeah, oh, when, yeah. Power, so when, it's like, when it's like fully when it charged hit. and everything, it's like it has it has very very like weak like damage output, but it has amazing just like knocking out KO distance. So if you yeah. if you have a character that's like like maybe like eighty percent like a little or that or above, one hit with that they're out totally off. Um, just just a tip: don't hit clank ever. That limit break will go. Off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll so set that's it off. It, that's, it, it, I mean, that, that's how it worked in Final Fantasy. Like they totally. Mm-hmm. Took all those elements from those games and just yeah. put it in. I, I thought they great. did it really neatly, great. especially with the uh, the Midgar stage. We'll talk about uh, that a little bit. I don't know if you uh, guys have had a chance to you know play what? That, uh, stage, that stage. That's that all is... I've played on. That's all I've played on. That's the Midgar it is. Especially playing like the uh, battle theme from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, uh, so it, I, I take it it does that the entire time. This is the, yeah. this is the gripe I have with the stage right now. The stage is gorgeous. Let's, I'm going to get that out of the way first. The two themes, yeah. the boss theme and the battle theme, great. But it, it sucks to me that there's only two tracks. Because I've looked to see if there's yeah, any there more tracks. Because I, ex- yeah, I was expecting like One Wing Angel and everything like that. Maybe some more they, stuff they from like totally Midgar. But it's also or like even... Square Unix, man. Like They're not going to just give them all their music. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like at least like the overworld theme or something like that. But, yeah, like, you yeah, didn't get any yeah. of that. And, like, a game that's so incredibly based on, like, the music as well as, like, the gameplay and the story and everything like that, you would think they'd put a little bit more music into it. Which I Does think it, they might They might eventually maybe do that. So I think they that, might. Like, maybe there was only so much that, like, Nobu Uematsu could have, like, allowed them to... Well, I mean, he's, he's worked with I mean, it before. It, I mean, he did... Yeah. Yeah, he did yeah. the theme for Brawl. Yeah. Like, so. I think it's all about the money, hey, like, how much yeah. they can give them and... Because I, I mean, because they're about... updating the game too. They're going to update it in February, that's, so maybe yeah, that, maybe then they'll actually give yeah, maybe more music to the game. Maybe they will. And two, possibly, two seems and possibly, and possibly really give uh, Cloud a, a, a English VO because I don't know if you guys noticed this, but he only speaks in Japanese. So. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, they'll definitely that. add an English VO, like I'm sure. But he didn't in the original reveal trailer. Yeah. No, he didn't. Well, he didn't really talk oh, no, in there. No, he, in the, no, in the he did. He when they announced him, he came in and he said some lines that could have been picked out of another game. But That's true. But it, then he, again, he's he probably English. like, I mean, I don't know if Square Enix is care, doing but... voiceovers for the remake yet, but they are. They oh. are. Yeah, oh, yeah they, already they, showed, are. they already showed. They already showed. So that's probably why he wasn't able to. Too busy with them working on that, which is which understandable. Is... Which is but to a be whole honest, they could have just pulled and a whole some other of discussion that, that I think we need to get into. Besides the um, fact that it's yeah. going to be technically episodic and everything like that, just, that's a whole. Well, other, there is a reason behind other that. Beast. Yeah, like he's the, like the, he said, we'll definitely. There get apparently it. is a decent uh, reason behind it, but it's, it's I mm-hmm. still think it's a tiny bit of a cop out. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. wrong with but multiple Blu-rays. Uh, at least I, it on I multiple see, Blu-rays. I see season pass written all over it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I see season pass, money, money, money. But I mean, look, I got to point out since we're talking about like reveals and stuff. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I honestly thought that this was, like, the biggest slap in the face to, like, just Smash Brothers fans from Square. When they showed off, it's like, we're going to give you something you guys have been asking for forever. And they showed, like, the me costume for yep. Gino oh, yeah. from Super Mario. I was going to bring up Gino and they talk about her headset and stuff I just, as I well. And I saw that. Oh, my God. I lost it. I'm just like, that sucks for people who've been wanting Gino. That's like it also giving, sucks for like people who... The, um... Well, that as I was saying last night, Ben, that they, mm-hmm. somebody actually dissected the update and they found a couple of these announcements. There was nothing about um, Corrin mm-hmm. and all that before, but they did see Gino and they thought they thought yeah. that Gino was going to be a playable character because the I, folders I there. Would the have, I would have expected Gino that from too. Gino Super from Mario. Uh, Super Mario RPG. Oh, 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 like oh. A, yeah, oh, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it was like a. A mix between Final Fantasy and Mario, and it was like this one of yeah. his. But like showing that costume, that's like that's honestly like that's like having like a Ridley costume because now yeah, everybody's absolutely. been wanting Ridley. Well, that's kind of like the way I too. feel about the Inkling costumes. I want the Inklings in Smash. I don't want their costumes. I want them in Smash. Yeah, they'll probably be in mm-hmm. Smash Five. Yeah. They'll probably be on the NX version or whatever comes out. So yeah. I mean, I it's mean that happen. would be that like, would be awesome they're... if oh. if they decide to take Smash Brothers from Wii U, put it on the NX, and kind of just like and extend it and make it roll. 
little bit more. I don't think they'll take this version. As I think long as I don't have to buy a different game. copy, then yeah. Like, an X <laughs> copy, I mean, then yeah. That's I'll that's another it. whole can of worms. I see it being <laughs> backwards compatible on the NX, because Nintendo's pretty yeah, good about backwards compatibility anyway, so. Oh, uh, I mean, they did, they did. Compared um, to Sony. So, <laughs> don't, you love, the, don't you love that PS2 emulation? That's oh, great. Man. It's great, you know, fifty dollars for a game I already freaking have. <laughs> nothing wrong like, with it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the emulation, but there's a wrong oh with the like, practices. Sony's just like, yeah, you can play Kingdom Hearts too. You have the disc. Just download <laughs> it and pay for it again. So sure, go ahead. Just, just pay I'm for like, it again. It's okay. Yeah. You can have it. It's nothing wrong. I with mean, that. Nintendo kind of did that too with the virtual console stuff from like the Wii yes. to the Wii U. Yeah. Like, but they're yeah, not you... charging. They're not charging forty dollars Australian for a PS2 game. Yeah. I mean, but at least technically they gave you like a discounted rate. It's like if you own it, you don't have to pay the full price. I mean, yeah, it still that, sucks that you too, have to pay for but... It, but I think it's more the point that the Nintendo games you have to buy again. Are you going from cartridge to digital? Whereas this is just to yeah. this is disc to disc. This, this disc. should not. This but but yeah, my true. main I mean, and this is getting away off topic, but like my main concern with the whole PS2 backwards emulation thing is that even if like GTA, so all of those were digital on PS3, they were already emulated on PS3 as a digital title. Why should I have to pay for them again as an emulated digital title on the PS4? Because Sony loves money. And now that their system That's is the best selling you know, system on the first, market right you know, now, they're when just the like, PS4 hey, yeah, exactly. when the first money. came out, you know, it was great to like have them like, you know, be able to digitally like allow you to put your PS3 disc into the game itself. But I then again, you had to like pay for it too, didn't you? You did, but that's what my point is. Like, with that, if you paid for... But it was like $15, I think. So yeah, it, maybe it, for Australian, was... like, I paid 11 bucks for GTA 3 on PS2, but through PS3 again. But why would I have to now pay 40 to have that on PS4? Yeah, that's boring. Because you want that HD up res. It's, no, I'll just, I'll just yeah, play it on you PC. You want to be able to get those trophies <laughs> and Twitch stream it when... The, the trophies know. are cool for people who care. I don't care. Yeah. I, I used to, like, I'm not going to lie. I used to be a huge achievement whore. I can, I can tell from your uh, profile be, on I Xbox, man. A, at, at a time, before I realized how com <laughs> uh, completely stupid it was, and then I started live streaming, and I was like, yeah, it's not that important. I don't not care that anymore. Important. Yeah. No. I used to care until they started making at least half or more of the achievements online only and then have really weird stipulations on how to do it well, just... then you get then you get those games with like really really stupid achievements this is like you turned your game on here's an achievement <laughs> the simpsons yeah. did like, you, you ever died. play the simpsons you game died. on you had to restart the game here's an achievement wow it's like those Thanks, burger guys. king games like sneak king and like all those they're just oh, like God. oh <laughs> oh, the simpsons game on xbox had the funniest achievement at this press start screen right you mm -hmm. can press start or you can press A to start the game. Most people just mash A to get into the game, right? If you mm -hmm. mash A to get into the game, you don't get an achievement. If you press start at the press start screen, you get a press start achievement. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Started the game. Way to go. Here's a little Yay. something. Yeah. Yes. yes. For you. That's like that day one yeah. Xbox One achievement. Who cares? Give you like some incentive to actually do them. You know, yeah, like, exactly. Like, I don't know. That's I, like I, when people like nice when people message me on it, like something. Yeah, that's when people message me on Xbox. It's like, oh man, you're at like a hundred thousand gamer score. Congrats! I'm like, dude, Whatever. that that doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. That doesn't that doesn't it's make not my get you that any doesn't stuff off of the Xbox live. Gold I mean, yeah, if they started <laughs> exchanging you money for your achievements. Heck yeah! Well, that I was mean, the thing I, they, they, they right said they might do that. Whoring. Exactly, they said they might do that going into Xbox One, but they ended up not doing that. They're just it's giving you money for buying Nobody's things. Nobody's gonna make any money off of it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, back to yeah. the Smash announcements. Okay, <laughs> I mean, we keep getting sidetracked. We keep getting sidetracked. I'm getting yeah. sidetracked right. as well. With this little... So yeah, I was, gonna, I was basically going to say that the whole thing with the Geno outfits and that, it does feel mm -hmm. like a bit of a slap in the face, like, to be honest. There's a lot more of the Square Unix they could have used as well, like the whole background. Mm -hmm. Stuff yeah. that, there's lots of Final Fantasy stuff. But Why it, just? It could be just an issue of money and time, and you know, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Oh, they could get their that's a good point. And the fact that they got Square cloud Enix. is still a huge yeah. thing because, yeah. like, Square you know, Enix being Square Enix. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Square well, I've got a feeling like, that. To be honest, like honestly, no, nobody, nobody on the face of the earth ever thought in their wildest dreams is like of all characters you would see Cloud from Final Fantasy. Yeah, VII nobody. Yeah. That no, he wasn't even on the po like, he was on the poll, but he wasn't top five or anything. I don't and know. I feel so. like that's what made it so like shocking and so like just like oh like real like a oh my god type of moment because like, you know, it's like yeah. nobody was expecting that. Like people were honestly like at that point when go when 
when Cloud got announced, people was like, I, they probably had better chance of seeing like Goku or Superman in Smash Brothers than Cloud, because yeah. he's a Sony character. Yeah. Which yeah. is another thing I need to point out. I, need, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when they were talking about Bayonetta, which we'll get to at, in a little yep. bit, Just but when same. they were showing her, when they were showing like the number, like you know, like number one in Europe, number one in the USA. If you saw at the bottom of the screen, they actually said. Only available. Like, you know, yep. Yeah, available stuff. So like, it's pretty much all those like idiots that was like, I want Goku with Smash Brothers. But you, you know what? We... A, you wasted a vote. Like, you wasted seriously. your vote. Yeah. I mean, I personally did vote for Beta, but um, yeah, me too. I voted but... for her and Shovel Knight. Those were the two characters I, I voted. Yeah, for. I don't know why I Shovel Knight didn't get. I voted for as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I voted for um, Inklings and Bayonetta, but I had I... a feeling that Bayonetta had more of a shot than Inklings. I, since I, they already I had did a random one. I did the um the. The action figure thing, the um, what is it? The one, uh, the, the very Not first the nondescript Nintendo action figure. Yeah, I actually said we should get him as well because it's like they were gonna do something with him and then it never did. And I was and like, then they just hey, dropped it's yeah. not fair. But then I was like, my like second vote's the Bayo because it's like an actual vote. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, Bayo. they were only ever gonna do things that made sense license wise. Like they can't just yeah. go and get. I, can't just I was, don't get, I like, was still, I was still because, a little yeah. bummed out by the end of it because, like, since this was the last one. You weren't going to see, like, I was hoping, it's like, my fingers were crossed, it's like, can you bring Ice Climbers back, please? Because, yeah. you know, they already gave really a technical ice, reason why I can't do it. For a long it. time, for a long time, for some weird reason, I would have liked to see, like, another Link that wasn't Toon Link, but, like, I'm talking, like, Zelda 1 Link, like, being able to shoot, like, the little <laughs> the, yeah. like, the beam energy sword and beat, like, uh, the little energy stuff from his sword. If he yeah, has, I mean, like, zero percent or something. I was thinking they might do something like that. If they like... did that, they might as well just update the link they've got in there, which is the Scarlet yeah. Sword link. Can he yeah, just yeah. does the Scarlet Strike? Yeah, he yeah, could just do the Scarlet Strike, yeah. Anyway, yeah. getting on to the final final character announcement. This is the final, 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 final one. Yep. Was Here we go. Bayonetta. We're talk about this for an oh, hour. Oh. It was Bayonetta. Legs, legs, legs. Now, at first, oh. I didn't think I didn't think anything <laughs> about Bayonetta until they showed the moon because they started off with Pit talking to Palatina, and I was like, "All right, here, here we go. It's another Kitty Cruz character." I was, yeah, I was saying that. It's like you boned me, Sakurai. I know. Yeah, you're so the Sakurai's <laughs> favorite franchise. Now, here we go. As soon as they said moon which i was like it's been, oh yeah it's been, as soon as it, it's oh, another another angel i was like here we go this is where i was like slowly like gaining hope but kind of losing hope which is like when it, right when sakurai should, before he showed the trailer he said it's like the final climax before blah 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 yeah and I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah no he, don't he did don't fuck with me right now don't fuck with me right yeah now. he said this is and our then, climax and, then they showed, and i was then like they showed mm. like you know the kid Icarus stuff and i'm just like me no it's gonna be another kid Icarus Icarus character. character but then i was thinking Hang on, they already have Pit, they already have Dark Pit, they already have Palatina. Who else can they really do that's not- notable from that game? I honestly don't know. And I, I didn't One of the random Kid enemies? Like, yeah. I didn't yeah. even play Kid Icarus uh, Uprising, so us I don't even... Scent. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but then they said Banner. Then they said Banner. Oh, like, the, the shot to the moon, and then you, like, you hear her voice, and I'm just like, oh! oh. I, yeah. I just... When she mentioned Again. about angels, I'm like, dude, you are screwed. Pit is yeah. freaking screwed. <laughs> like he's done and for. The, and like yeah. I thought that like, they were, I thought you. they were really gonna like water her down, you know, like like look wise and everything. But she, I mean, she plays, she moves exactly like she does in the game. I mean, when she does, like yeah, you know, still, like made her all like her like, like her witch and... time, like her witch time moves and everything like that. You know, she doesn't oh, have like too much missing. I mean, there's still a little bit there, so it's like no, they kept very, it modest. Yeah. Very bad though. Very but it's just the, everything about it. Even like the small details, like they mentioned, how she's got like the little rings around her when she's shooting with her like her guns and everything like that. Yeah. It's just, like they put a lot of work. When she's into this landing, she's got the butterflies that come out. And all that, and they're, they're using both models of it as well. So that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was surprised that they had a which was the model. I'm like, oh, okay, I like this model, but then they showed the second one. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is yeah. And then and they got, got the alternate combos, colors dude. as well. She's got combos. I like the combos I know. that they oh, show where she gosh. can do she can oh. do witch jump and then like the forward like red hot kick and then up again. And I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna have Freaking so much fun with this from, character. Like, all sides of herself, like. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm so excited for yeah. that. And she's not exactly another sword fighter, which was my main complaint yeah, with both exactly. Cloud and and Co- uh, She looks Corrin. like she like, play like a little bit like Samus, like Zero Suit. Yes, I think yeah. very much so. Yeah, I could do that. But I'm leading back to when you said Cloud was a little bit OP, and so is Corrin. Bayonetta has which time? Come on. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. You can literally slow you can down slow your people opponents, down. 
Oh, oh. and you do and you do so and you do Umbra climaxes as your final yeah. smash. Uh, yeah. And you just oh. like which oh. slows the entire screen oh. down, so also, everybody like, has no chance. The ch you can just change on. Like you just can go up, 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 yeah. and like it's not. It doesn't look like it's going to be as limited as like most of the others, where you literally don't get much of a, yeah. a chance to sort her of recover. Air, her air game is just going to be redonk. It's just going to be smashed. She's going to just... smash his most hated character. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's going to be the pe people going to OP that. For sure. People are already hating on it, but it's like you voted. So they've got time to level it out till February. The people that are hating out, on it are the people that voted for Goku. <laughs> like, yeah. like we didn't get, we didn't get Goku was never character. gonna happen, but it did. It did feel like it was feasible simply because of Namco's involvement with yeah. the Smash franchise. I, I thought. That's like, but honestly, if that's, they were going to put a ridiculous, if they were going to put a ridiculous character in there like that, I was just like, you could have I mean, gone with a different. Could, that's see, like saying you want a Gundam in there. So. If anything, Dana yeah. Dynamica would have put like Jin Kazama from like Tekken character. In there exactly. Or yeah, that, that, it would have been. Um, thought, like, we'll a lot see. of people thought we were going to get a Tekken yeah. character in Smash Brothers. But I really thought Yoshimitsu might be I mean, in for a shot. First uh, of all, like, if they were to get Goku on there, they would have to like go through Toei Animation. They'd have to go mm -hmm. through like Viz Media yeah. and, and Funimation. Funimation, Funimation. And Funimation. Other places, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of. Like, it's a lot of work. places, but also it doesn't make any sense because every no. single character that's in Smash is from a video game. Now I know Co I know Goku has no. video games. I know Dragon Ball has. But he, video games. he didn't start he as a video game victory. character. He did not. He did not. Yeah. However, the first video game for that was on Nintendo, so maybe there was a little bit of an inkling there with but, Namco and that, but but still, it's yeah. not it wasn't happening. It's not a whole lot. I thought we might get Mrs. Backman. Yeah. So, you know. I mean, I would have liked that. I, mean, I that, like that or like an alt for Pac Man. Kind yeah, of. that's, that's like, what I mean. Just like an alternate skin. How about, how about yeah. like, how about the Pinocchio guy from Toy Pop? Anybody remember that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one Nobody remembers, that. remembers him. No. He's not that ain't like people are already firing up Google right now. It's like, what is that? Uh, uh, okay, I know I'm relevant now. I know, <laughs> like, I don't know, the knight from Druaga or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Something but it really, was never like, gonna be something nobody knows about. The, like... the other thing that I need to just like get out there really yeah. quick is just the, the the art that they showed for the Bayonetta's just like reveal. <laughs> Yeah, just like that was, amazing just... collage of just like all the Smash characters and just Bayonetta in the middle with the yeah, sweet yeah. butt shot. Yes, I paid attention. I paid attention. That was like the did. first thing I seen as well, and I pulled the James. Oh my god, look at her butt! You had me at butt I'm, shot. And I'm just like, like, cause like I was gonna think it was gonna be like a front shot where she's just kind of pointing her guns at it, but they That's not. They went full butt. They no, they let butt. they let Platinum Games do that, and as they let you know Square Unix do the poster for Cloud and, and all the other Nintendo that. characters. I just like, that as well. However, I can like... see the fe I can see the feminists getting in on this too. Like, oh, I could I've already done it for Street Fighter. I've already done it for Dead or Alive. They took away my oh, butt slap. Like, That's but you know what? You took then, my butt slap. They actually have taken a little bit away from the character. Because I noticed when she does her like climax moves, when where you know where her hair oh, comes, oh yeah, she's not. Yeah, yeah. Well. They've Mommy, they've no. actually covered her a little bit more than but they to even be honest, did on the like, game. When so. she's in the actual okay. game, it only goes down to like a swimsuit. Oh, it doesn't. And matter. That's even then, yeah. like just her nipples are being covered, like when she does the massive climaxes, it's yeah. still mm -hmm. like as as a woman. I think it's great. Like, I think it's. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. She, and yeah. that's that's the thing. I really hate it. Like you know, like certain people on the internet just overdo it. That there's she's an empowering person. So there's nothing sort of you know. There's nothing. It's because yeah, her think character it's, is not I think like. It's, well, yeah. She's, I think she's, it's just people that can do that. Kind she, of she she loves she she's pretty much just like <laughs> you know. She's. I just like. People like I think it's just like people are so okay these days. It's like we're allowed. We can do we can do as much violence as possible. We can show yeah. gore and everything, but you show a slight a bit of sex appeal, and that's crossing the line. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, but it's like, I mean, look, because I mean, if you look at it, like at least here here in the states, one of our most popular shows is a show where people brutally murder and kill zombies, and it's one of the and one of the most popular shows in America right now. But you yeah. can't show a show where like two people are like naked or just hugging with no clothes on because oh that's too offensive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like where's the, where's the line there? There's, there, it, I think we're getting too we're getting too but PC I mean, about all this stuff. It's yeah. just it's annoying because like there are perfectly good games that are considered yeah. fine for most cultures and that won't come mm -hmm. stateside, which means they won't go to Europe because Absolutely. we don't get stuff you don't get most of the time. Yeah. 
yeah, and I mean, if you and if you really look at Bayonetta, I mean, there's not really anything too overly risque about her. I mean, compared oh. to how she moves in Bayonetta two, yeah, they they well, really can, toned it down for her. I can see from the outside looking in that if you saw the character and didn't know anything about it, you'd be like, "That's they, yeah. they made a slutty. They've made a slut out of it." But they haven't really at all. And they can't really say anything about her being too slutty because she doesn't have a pole dance taunt like Palutena does. Just saying. <laughs> Politana um, has pole dance taunt. She doesn't have the taunt, but at the end of Bayonetta 2, there's some pole dancing. That, that's, that's, uh, a, yeah. that's a memorable, that is a memorable moment. <laughs> there is 10 me. minutes of pole dancing, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a classy pole dance, let's be fair here. Because she stayed yeah. fully clothed and there was no champagne sh- like showers, so. Oh yeah, there was, there was, <laughs> no was classy. Pop, pop. They didn't get GTA up in that shit. Yeah, um, she, kept, she kept it classy, not showing all the assy. <laughs> So, not, you know. No, no, I see. It's so not exactly. She shows it. It's just not there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, yeah, just like the, o- the just other like thing. Overall, overall, it was just, it was a really good. I think it was a really good way to end, like just like the yeah, Smash absolutely. Brothers, like just everything the way they did it. I could have done without Corin. I got to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't like. I don't. On top of everything else. He's another sword fight. I mean, he, she, because it's a double character. He's another but Fire Emblem character. A, we don't need any more Fire Emblem It's another Fire Emblem, Emblem sword done. character. No more. We're done. Well, that's like, it. We are done, I guess. There's almost as many Fire Emblem characters as their Mario franchise characters in this game. Yeah. Which is strange, because they still haven't done a few key characters from the Mario franchise. They could have added, like, another Donkey Kong character. Yeah. I would have loved that. Where's Cranky Kong now, hey? Like, Cranky Kong or Dixie? I would have loved to see Cranky Kong. Dixie, Lanky, Scrooge McDuck. Exactly, why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 this is an idea. You might as well ask for that if you're asking for Goku, let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's but, so stupid. Oh, just everything about that, just it came, out, it came out the right way. I have just a little... I mean, it's pretty obvious when you think about it, but like at the time, when they announced Cloud, I did inform you that they definitely would be making a Cloud Amiibo, and you weren't sure about it. Oh, okay, now we're going to talk about the other thing that I freaked out about. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're going to make hmm. Amiibos of all I the DLC characters. I already asked characters. my work if I can pre-order them. They said they'll have skis tomorrow. I'm like, yes! You know I'm going to be down there with I'm money. I'm definitely pre-ordering. I'm, actually, what? I'm jealous of you doubles. guys. I'm going to get doubles of Ryu, Cloud, and Bayonetta, okay? Oh, yeah. And I, okay. those are the only ones I want. But you know what? Amiibo, the Cloud one's going to be hard to get. One. Yeah, Cloud's Definitely. Because line. it won't just be Amiibo fans buying them. It'll be Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy anime fans. Yeah. Anime fans will buy that. It's going to be something that is universal to anybody who likes PlayStation and anything like that. They're all going to buy the Cloud Amiibo because it's a cheap yeah, figure of Cloud. Yeah, all the PlayStation fanboys are finally going to buy something from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. 120 Play Arts Kai figure of Cloud? Yeah. Got, that, got this $12 one right here. I was actually going to buy that's that. That's what I mean. Like, it, it's an affordable, <laughs> it's an affordable world today. model. Oh, yeah, wait, really? Jeez. Oh. But, like, um, yes, like... But it's Ami- an affordable Amiibo figure is definitely of something I need to discuss about this whole thing cuz yeah, when, when when they sh- when they showed off when they showed off Roy and Ryu I was just like sweet I need yeah. I need it in my life because I'm sad and alone but then they showed, <laughs> then, they, then they showed Japanese Amiibo. Famicom Rob which I did not think they were actually going to bring to the states I thought yeah. like I was honestly I was considering importing it because I didn't think I was actually going to come here but now that they're bringing Japanese Famicom Rob here I'm just like sweet Mm. Now, out of out of those three, out of Ryu, Roy, and Famicom Rob, I think out of all of those, the two hardest are probably going to be able to list, like, literally fine. It's probably going to be Ryu, and it's probably going to be Roy, because we all know Fire Emblem characters, when, they, when, when it comes to Amiibo, they're almost completely non-existent. Because, mm. especially with, like, Marth, when he came out, like, well, he almost yeah. was, like, nowhere to be found. At least in the States, he was nowhere to be found. It's completely the opposite thing, here, though, because... The ones that don't sell are the Fire Emblem characters, because I actually don't know another Australian who talks about Fire Emblem at all. Yeah, oh. it's we ha- we can get Marth, we can get Ike, we can get any of them. They're all on the shelf. Mm. Uh, Robin, I think, still there. So it's just this is why it actually... sucks living in the states if you like Fire Emblem, because you'll yeah, never see them. Well, that's, that was like your Villager at one point. It's I know they've restocked that now. Or... But, yeah. Same, well, Villagers finally come back and restock because they're actually pulling their heads out of their butts and we're actually putting Amiibo in stock. That's why mm. my collection is like near complete now. Mm. And that's another reason why I haven't done Amiibo hunting videos because I've actually been able to go into the store well, did, and just get them yeah. whenever I see them. So It's not cool anymore. That's what he's trying to say. Oh, uh, it will be. No, no. It still... will be. That, but yeah. I'm really I, surprised I, I still uh, on the topic of Amiibos. It. That Nintendo didn't just release a stack of random new Amiibos for Christmas. 
Yeah. But you know, where's Christmas I Mario think... and all that? <laughs> they they should. I would have bought it. Uh, exactly. Yep. Uh, but see the butt. It's beautiful. If they did, I'm not they... gonna lie. The art <laughs> is just Back freaking just. Love me. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for all my screen. Yeah. Mm. yeah. If no, they did like. I'm, I'm, Christmas I'm amiibos. Gonna, I'm sure I'm they would have saw that. Res, I'm gonna get a high res like image of that. Take it to my like like uh, I think it's like Kinkos or whatever, and I yeah. can actually get it printed on a huge like poster like paper, and I'm gonna frame that and just put it. Can right you up get there. it like post? Can you get it printed on like cloth at Kinkos? I think like, so. I think they do that, but you that have would to pay, be like epic. Because I have sweet. that, and I have because they did that with a. Uh, with uh um because when i went to the symphony of the goddess concert for uh for zelda they yeah. gave us like these really really nice posters and i just the, felt the black like, just, like that cloth fabric thing that they came with and i'm just like i want my posters to be like this because they look amazing in a frame Aww. yeah so that's that's what i'm going to do with that one if I, if I if they don't actually re if they don't, don't give us nothing here. <laughs> i didn't get a cloth poster when i went i just got a regular poster but i got um el near or whatever her name is in no no it's composer the composer, the composer, we did it. I actually got her to sign up, so I got her to sign up. I didn't get to, I didn't get to get any, meet any of the composers, but I got to hold the Wind Waker that day because, like, the oh, actual nice. conductor used a Wind Waker when they started yeah, playing like, yeah, Dragon that's, that's Valley the stuff. It's like they a, pulled it out, and I'm just like, oh, I got yeah, to hold it, and it was just like, oh. She has like a really <laughs> Irish name, but it's like El Elmira Enun or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. that's yeah. we we met her and she signed the poster. She was really really nice. I follow her on Twitter now because she's like that's awesome. But she does all the Warcraft conducting as well. The music for Warcraft, she does a conducting for that as well. A few other videos. That's games. awesome. That is yeah. awesome. She's 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 good. But, uh, but so, yeah. like back to back to the amiibo thing really. Quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, back to the top of the end. Okay. Because yeah. I I knew I already I already knew when they when they announced Cloud. I was like, all right, he's gonna have amiibo because Nintendo loves money. And so oh, does yeah. Sony and Square. Let's be and, honest, they all do it because of money. <laughs> and honestly, the 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 Cor Corin, I don't, I can't even remember his name. The, the Fire Emblem character Corin? that no that one gives a crap Fire about. Emblem. Yeah, the, yeah, the character no one gives a crap about. But it's bad um, if you don't know the name, isn't it? It really is. It, it just goes to show you how much of an impact he made. But will you know but the name like, come February next year? Like I'll, I'll know, I'll know the name when his amiibo comes out because I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> It'll be on the shelf and look back and go. Yes, but then you'll forget it once. It's like oh, so. I'll see him and it's like oh, he's the he's the one I didn't want. But it's like all right, fourteen ninety nine. Here you go. And but the most yeah. importantly, the Bayonetta one because I don't know if you saw like her still frame. There's gonna be mm. a lot of detail in that amiibo. Of course, like, I from like the so. hair, like the and you know what? Chain, some, some amiibo just lacked on. Like but if you notice the later ones that they've actually printed and everything, there have been yep. a lot more detail they and a lot more. Just... We have the second edition like, of Wave and was added it three details. Or four with Pac-Man and Charizard wasn't so. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man was yeah. never that great on the Amiibos, but I mean, what is he? He's round, he's round and smooth. There's not yeah. much you can do with that. <laughs> and, just but, like I've, I've made it, I've made it very yeah. clear to myself that Bayonetta will be the one Amiibo that I buy two <laughs> of, which I haven't already done before. <laughs> but this <laughs> will be the actual one that I that'll actually open. To we we tried so hard to get. Ben's gonna open an Amiibo. Oh no! I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna do a video on it too. And I'm just gonna like you're gonna witness me break and just open one of these. You should do like a so compendium okay. of like videos of you hanging out with Bayonetta. In that, in this places. video, Ben, you have to at least. I don't want to like, show my Bayonetta memorabilia because if I do, and then so I'm going I'm to make a GIF out of it. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yay. Because there is there there is there is like this actual like bayonetta figure that I saw on Amazon that's really really awesomely designed. Is it kind of looks like Kai the Sojo one? figures is it the that I have. Like, one? I think so because it has her like doing like her we like can't get uh, that. like she we, has like one like hell. leg up and then she has her two guns we, hanging out. I it's had, a bayonetta we, one figure. It's yeah. not a bayonetta I had something two like that in my room. Them. If I had something and it like goes that, for like two hundred bucks, and I'm just like, I I wanted it so bad, but I couldn't. Yeah. I had something hold like it. that in my room. I would make sure to hide it. So <laughs> if I we were looking for it, and we only What's found John, that? and there was like was five okay John play out figurines for sixty dollars, and the beta was yeah. back, and we kept asking people, "Do you have it?" And they're like, "No, it's sold out." And we're just like, "Oh, let's look online." Oh my god, it's two hundred fifty bucks. I don't even have that money. Yeah, yeah. it's a ridiculous yeah. amount. And shout outs to and shout outs to Nintendo for actually giving Bayonetta a genre. Color 
for her one of her alt colors. I saw yeah. that, and I'm just like, good was, on you, because I, I, like, I like Jean. I like Jean. They totally didn't, didn't have to. I was, oh, I was just I about was to say that. Like, hey, is that, that they, one person in there? <laughs> I was secretly <laughs> hoping that they just didn't like a daisy with her and just actually just gave her, instead of just a recall, that would have been cool. Just stuck that that would have been cool. And yeah. I like it, just gave, I'll just put it in there because... and just You know what they should have done? You know what they should have done? They should have made Cloud be able to dress up like a girl. <laughs> yeah, a why is that, that? Why is why, that not why, in there? Why, why didn't Cloud they the do dress? that? <laughs> that would have been great. I, because I, I you're already that. pushing the boundaries, uh, I guess, of Smash again, being game awesome. for kids. That's what I'm worried about, too, <laughs> when it comes to the remake. <laughs> when it comes to the Final Fantasy remake. I don't know if they're actually going to go through with that whole They said they are. They said they are. I hope they do. They have to. Which means that part will get edited for America. scenes in that game. Especially, like, I don't want them yeah, to even true. cut the part when the guy is basically mounted cloud and everything like that. I just, yep. like, don't take any yeah. of that out. I want all you know of what, that though? in the I game. You know what, though? I think... James doesn't know. He hasn't well, played I've it. Seen, I've seen that part. I just like, want to see... I just yeah. want to see, like... <laughs> I just want to see Aerith and Tifa and Cloud, like, with the... with what is, What's his name? Don Corneo just saying, I'm going to cut it off. If you, yeah. do, if you don't tell me. <laughs> I just want to see that's how... About. How well endowed they keep Tifa. I'm going to you know crush it. <laughs> like, it uh, oh man, I don't see. Are they going to have? That's the... where I come in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Especially what does Ben Tifa, think about this? It's, it's going to be great. Especially with Tifa, like Re-rendered. her character, like yes, yes, she's very, yes, she's very well endowed. Let's let's get yes, that out of the yes. way. And yes, I've noticed, and I've taken many hours to study this. But Ben, but the, we live in an age of those jizzle, jiggle physics. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I played enough DOA to know this. Okay, <laughs> I've done research it's for like, a friend. Yes, yes, they're huge, but she keeps it modest, though. I mean, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't like, wear anything she over. Modest, she wears a sweater. Yeah. You know, it's not over. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't keep it. She's not. She's not a ditzy girl. She's not. She's not like a helpless like damsel in distress. She's a very powerful character. Sure, she's a little voluptuous and she, everything like that, but that shouldn't take away from her actual like yeah. you know character like arc and everything like that. So, game, so you yeah. would have exactly. left. That's not how Sakaguchi is, you know, like, when he made those games. Like, uh, it's, because it's I feel like they're going to do a little bit of alterations to the characters. Because they I mean, will. if you look at Cloud himself in the, yeah, he, in the he's already been right altered now, slightly. Yeah, because he because he looks little. He looks a little scrawny, a little skinny. It's because he's suffering well, from like you know the geostigma like stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. why he that's why he doesn't look as bulky or whatever. And it's the same thing with Barrett. He actually has a recharacter design well, and everything like keep that. Keep in mind, too, so. like after Crisis Core. Like mm-hmm. after Zach passed away and everything, like, spoilers. He immediately, spoilers. He immediately went to Midgar, like right after that. So, yeah, that's right. exactly. so it's a continuation of that now, I guess, mm-hmm. more than ever was before. Yeah. So, so yeah. of course, he's not going to look freaking, you know, beef. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, people were. But it's also like, Cloud. Like it's a style. A Jack Cloud. I don't think the style is not lending itself to a Jack Cloud, so to speak, either. You know because, what I'm yeah, excited exactly. for? Like yeah. I'm excited for like. Vincent Valentine, like being <laughs> to, like Vin, like, yeah, and, like... I, and I hope you'll be able to like. It's not like okay, so like they said I they were gonna expect... make it easier to get your like the sidekicks and everything like that. Yeah, compared to the first. Game. Remember, yeah. I've got a feeling they're gonna make the game. It'd Vincent be nice to get you feed the same way you did in the original game, but mm-hmm. like, but it was a like pain in the happen. butt to get Vincent though. Oh my god, I can't oh, believe, like god. the time it took to get Vincent was just ridiculous. I've he... got a small feeling they're gonna make the game easier as a whole. Because yeah. of today's game, <laughs> you said a hole. A hole. I sure yeah, did, Benny. Right. I sure did. It's supposed right. to be professional. <laughs> no, I'm it's an okay. adult. I swear. I swear. I swear. I need an adult. adult. <laughs> You're right, though. Like you know, for, I think they new, will for new people who to play the game. You know, they they kind of. Well, that's have one of the reasons it. why it's yeah. That's one of the reasons why it's not a turn-based RPG. It's more of an action-based RPG, kind of like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. That's why the gameplay yeah. is more like that. Changing the genre is a big one, I guess. It's going to lend itself to being yeah. much easier. I guess it's going to play like, a very I much like, like Kingdom Hearts. I don't Hearts. mind Honestly. having a different take on Final Fantasy 7 at all. I mean, no, I mean this is like, from the ground up. Actually, for me, it makes it more good. inviting for me because you know? I never, I never played the original. I know Sacrilege, right? But yeah. I, because I never played the original, I'm more open to going into the game with this new way of having the action which RPG. I think is a good way to look so, at it just like, fine, especially yeah. for people who have never even played it before but like yeah. are now suing like like Cloud being in Smash Brothers they want but to I know think, more about this you character know, if, yeah, that's if right. you know with this game coming out it'll spark people's interest too you know mm-hmm. to want to like see how the original went 
Well, t- t- tying in this this remake with Nintendo, since this is supposed to be <laughs> a Smash yeah. Direct thing, yeah. um, which is which all good, is, it doesn't which, really matter. Which is, um, which is another reason what a lot of people are speculating, because Cloud is in Smash Brothers now, yeah. but a lot of people are starting to speculate, does that mean that the remake is coming to the NX? The Nintendo it's definitely console. not coming to Wii U, I can sure as shit tell you that. Yeah. Um, Nothing's coming to the Wii U. <laughs> that's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> you just done. So, yeah, but I think I... basically ready to go take the Wii U out to pasture and give it one last goodbye before they pull the trigger on this thing. Pretty <laughs> much, like which is which is kind of which is kind of sad to say because if you really think about it, Nintendo but you know and what? the Wii U have had an, like an incredibly amazing year with with the Wii U this year. Like the I know lineup. a lot of people Just are more focused on like the give up on it so quickly. Yeah, yeah but honestly, it's the same this is deal like with the, like this is one of the shortest console lifespans like in a long time. Like, like, honestly, dr- yeah, like well, Dreamcast was the one last one that died. Yeah, like this. Well, you I was going to say, like, the Dreamcast, but it. the only difference is because, like, it's... the Dreamcast, you know, discontinued. But this one is just, like, we're literally doing giving something up on else it. with it. Yeah. yeah, think about it for a second. Like, with the Wii U, the fact that, you know, they stopped taking in third-party games, mm-hmm. it's kind of like... And I feel like that's such a that's such it's a like pop with, it's, it's exactly like with Hudson Soft, with the Turbo Graphics. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, they did yeah. the exact same thing. Or it Atari with the Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that toilet seat cover. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wait, which, wait, it was like it was like a hemorrhoid Atari, seat. Yeah, if you've ever seen what the Atari yeah. Jaguar looks like, it looks oh, like a yeah. toilet. It straight it up does. looks like a toilet. It plays yeah. like one too. You're right. <laughs> yeah. It plays. It, it, like it's it's sad to say that if you look at the Atari Jaguar, the, both of that that and the Super Nintendo both had Doom, and yeah. the Super Nintendo version of Doom is way better on the on yeah, the SNES than and, it is on the Atari and, Jaguar. And, and the yeah. Jaguar didn't have uh, music to it, right? Or maybe I'm thinking of the Genesis version. Like the no, first, that's the Genesis oh, the version. Yeah, yeah. Thirty-two X. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. But like, but it's, I, just, yeah. oh. it's sad to see the way you go out the way it did. Uh, but uh, it's also exciting to know that because. Uh, they seem to be getting third-party support in all other areas right now. Nintendo seems to be going into the NX with a really strong lead. Mm-hmm. That's good, yeah. you know. I would like to because, see... Because they're yeah. saying that the NX is supposed to be the most powerful console on the market when it comes out. It's but, like but that makes sense. I mean, it's, it's the newest. So yeah. but I, honestly, even if I it's feel, not... I don't, like, feel like console, I don't feel like console power is what's going to sell that system. I know there are well, a lot of people that are like so... You know, you know, like it's hard not necessarily up like, the power. I, you're right. It's not the power. It's yeah. it's how to program it's the, for it. It's the quality of the software. That's really what makes. Well, it. That, that, Cause... that's what sells the console to consumers. But what sells the console to third party companies to gain more consumers with their games is how sure. you can program for it. Yeah. So with the with the Wii U, I think that's it's why the last a lot of people were excited uses... about it that way. Because like yeah. when the Wii U was coming out, they showed all like the like the tech demos and everything, like the Twilight Princess like tech demo that they showed off for the Wii U for the first time. Oh. A lot of people yeah. were blown away by this. Like, is this what the new Zelda games are going to look like? Is this and what's it could happen? look like oh, that yeah, if they wanted it to? And they if... they they didn't yeah. look like that. It's never no. going to that. They did the same thing again with Wind Waker. It's a whole Wind Waker thing again. But it's the... I, I don't really mind because I like the art style of Wind Waker. I like the art style of New Zelda game, so I yeah. really mm-hmm. don't care where that goes. But my point is, like, the Wii U, this generation, was the last console to have power PC architecture to program for. Mm-hmm. So all the third-party companies are like, well, we're kind of done with that. Like, we've moved yeah. on to x86 and everything's PC oriented. So why should we mm-hmm. make a third game for specifically for a console that is primarily for children yeah. um yeah. you know it's, but it doesn't but have mean, to be for children third. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, God. that game sold out in america didn't you hear i know why yeah, it sold out there was five it's copies like a rarity like why? yeah because there wasn't any copies each it, it, yeah, it was got a like rarity a because i think like each store got one and it was just like yeah uh, all right someone said i think the the stats came out there was like 800 copies for all of america what? No. And the worst no, you... part is, it's a, it's like it's a very mediocre game, and it makes yeah. me sad because it's made by Tomodoro Itagaki, the guy who yes. did DOA and Ninja yep. Gaiden, two yep. of my absolute favorite games of all time. So it should have been decent by all counts. Mm. And it's just, it's a mediocre action game that just tries to be something that, er, that it I like. I was impressed not. by it when it was announced at E3 in 2014. Something like, like that. It, yeah. didn't, yeah. it didn't. It didn't so know if it wanted to be a first-person shooter or an action game. It's yeah, like that's, that's my problem with it. Is that I think he's just trying to get into the whole multiplayer as a flavor of the month. Let's jump on that and see what I can do. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah, the kind no. of game he would normally make. So why did he make it? I don't know. I don't. I mean, personally, personally, I feel like he should just pull his head out of his butt and go back to Team Ninja. 
because I'm pretty sure we'll take him back. Team Ninja freaking needs that guy. Like... They do, but also like if he wants to do his own thing, why not make a new fighting franchise? I didn't That's go so I'm well. Saying. It didn't go so well for the Mortal Kombat but guy. No jiggly boobs. Terrible fan. Jiggly butts. <laughs> ah, hey. ah, that's a selling point. No, no, jiggly. jiggly butts are a bad thing now because apparently you're not allowed to do that because that offends people. Thank you, Street Fighter, taking away Does my butt really? slap from oh, Armika. That's a... The, yeah, oh, yeah, I saw that. Then, that's a whole I, other discussion I can get into. Don't we're not gonna get into that. I, I showed um, I showed James the um, the give me where give me the chocolate came from. Mm, she um, did. They, oh, God. <laughs> she did. Oh, she did. No, 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 no. No, 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 no it's some street fighter. Well, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain it to people who don't know. Who Hi. don't know. Like <laughs> the, the the whole the whole phrase "Give me the chocolate" came from it's it's a old flash collab video that a bunch of like animators did on Newgrounds. Yeah. Um, oh. And the animator that did this one was Stamper. I don't know if you guys know who Stamper TV is, but he's he's a, he's a really funny animator, voice actor, and he did one of. Guile and Sea Viper from Street Fighter 4 basically just banging in the street. They're just having sex in the street. And it and it's just it's very it's very it's very silly because the he's doing the voice acting for both and he and it's just they say some of just the the stupidest stuff to each other and it just basically turns really really gross to the point where she just says, "Hey, I don't want to kill the mood, but I really have to crap bad." And then yeah. he basically pulls her boobs out, rubs her boobs, and says, "Give me the chocolate." And yeah. he wraps on him. Oh, okay. And that's yeah. where the this is where the phrase came from. And it just kind of like the reason why I use it so much. It kind of just means where you're just like you're working so hard to get something, and that's what happens. Yeah. When you when you when you. It doesn't matter. Up. The end result doesn't matter. Yeah. Exactly. But, but I showed you it because I looked leave... it up, and I've just oh. gone, "Oh wow!" And then I've gone, "Hey James, check this out," and I just start. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you do it. Like, and I haven't, this is I haven't slept since. I gotta <laughs> show somebody. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? It's like, oh fuck, that was bad. Was, hey, look at this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, well, just, yeah. So overall, guys, once my son stops uh, yelling, <laughs> normally he would be asleep. He, he came home in the car, he was asleep, but you know, whatever. That's all good. They, um, they're never, they're never asleep. Uh, the not what we want day. them to be. No. Um, what yeah. did you guys think overall? Did you think it was a little bit of a letdown? I know Bayonetta was awesome. I mean, Cloud's I didn't obviously see the awesome. Direct, but seeing some of the stuff that they showed, um, I I am I think they uh, definitely finished it off with a bang. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a good way to end off having all the Smash characters, except for the Fire Emblem character, which we yeah. don't freaking need but yeah they lost points for that because that was just that's like... why they started with that they were smart they started you know, with that <laughs> it's okay mm -hmm. it's okay i'm not i'm not angry but... <laughs> no. what, about, what about you ben i know you're pretty excited about that i'm not happy for I'm, i mean I'm, okay. I'm i'm very happy for that for that booty though but you know, yeah you, you and me both you and me both all right. Um, I guess I guess if I had to say anything, because like I like I'm not like a fighting game pro or anything like that, but I do follow fighting games a lot, and Smash Brothers being one of those fighting games that I like cherish like since like the N64 days, and seeing how this game has basically grown from when it was first announced in 2013 and then when it released in 2014, and just seeing it just grow from like the DLC characters, the extra stages, the extra content, everything about that. The way they the way they ended this, yes, like the the Fire Emblem character was kind of just like that was kind of like a, a nudge. Them was like eh, I don't really know how I feel about that, but then how they basically they they brought things that not everybody thought possible. They brought characters to this game that like more people didn't expect to compare. Like if I had to compare the like the shock value to this to like a game that wishes they got that shock value, it's like how PlayStation also. Oh, yeah. It's like when they say it's like, oh, we're gonna do characters like the Big Daddy from Bioshock. We're gonna have Raiden from Metal Gear, Dante from DMC. Like when you say stuff like that, people are people are supposed to be like, oh my god, but it did nothing. It wasn't. And oh my just, god, yeah. And it's just because those characters that they were announcing were just flavors of the month, and the characters yeah. they announced in Smash Brothers were legacy characters. These are characters that people have built a history with. And that's and the thing, like, the... you go back and play All-Stars now, and no one cares. It's trash. It's garbage. I don't care, like, PlayStation All-Stars fans will hate me for saying that, but the game Probably. is crap. I'm okay. sorry. I didn't mind the game. Crap. I didn't mind the game, let's be honest, but I, if while, I went back but... now and played it, I'd be like, I don't care about these characters anymore, because they're not long-lasting characters. That game had no value to it. 
It did. Yeah. And I mean, no, not really I mean they had they had the opportunity to put legacy characters into that game. They had Absolutely. a few. They had Where was Parappa. Crash and Sparrow? Yeah. Where was Crash and Sparrow? Like the, Which they could have just made they new put... IPs with, really. But, yeah. I mean, with, with that and everything else... <laughs> The whole, oh, thing Jesus with, the whole thing with Cloud, <laughs> the whole thing with Cloud. I think I feel the way they brought him into this was the probably one of the best ways because I feel like yeah. a lot of people who don't know this character, yeah, he's coming out in the Final Fantasy remake. But I feel like if you put him on a platform that a lot of people pay attention to, as well as a lot of people really know well, and they're going to check him out just because they want to see why everybody's so yeah. excited. But I mean, it's also character. everybody likes RPGs. No, but they that's like it, but just, it's also a know. cross promotion between mm -hmm. uh that and, and also the remake that, obviously and, just, and Final Fantasy Explorers yeah, as well. Exactly. exactly. And he's in that too, so that does mm -hmm. make sense a bit. So definitely some good marketing decisions right yeah. there. Yeah. In my yeah. respect in my respect, I think they it was good. Bayonetta was obviously the highlight when they ended with that, because they knew they knew. Um but, mm. but my the Fire Emblem character yeah, <laughs> the Fire Emblem character just, it wasn't it wasn't needed. <laughs> The Fire Emblem carry wasn't needed, and I think they were a little bit safe with the franchises they could get. As in Bayonetta, mm -hmm. they obviously didn't have to pay anything for. It's pretty much yeah. their character yeah. now anyway. Well, Nintendo's honest. the reason that Bayonetta is still going. Exactly. She's the reason why she's the franchise, so I feel like it would have if they didn't put her in, then they'd just be doing a mistake on themselves. I, but... I feel like on one hand, they did enough, and on the other hand, the announcement yeah. warranted yeah. something bigger. <laughs> if you know honestly, what I mean. Yeah, I honestly feel like Nintendo's the reason that Platinum Games is becoming such a big developer now. Like, yeah. there's so there's a reason why so many studios want them now. It's because, well, because they of saw what they did with, I'm yeah, they buy saw the what they did on with Xbox, so. yeah. and, I, and just because of overall all of that, it's just I gotta say it's, the way they the way they sent it off and everything like that, I couldn't have asked for a better way to do it. Thanks. So I was thoroughly happy with it. You know, I'll be happy, happy with them with as long as they can make up for Transformers Devastation because that game disappointed me greatly. Aww, I like that game. I, I didn't play the it. DLC. It, it's a, G, I really it's a G1 it. Transformers game. Are you nuts? Yeah, I liked it. It was, it was a great game, but there was no replay value at all. There's no replay value. You obviously have you not that. played enough Platinum games, my friend. No, there, ben, there, there really isn't no. much replay value in the Transformers I, game. I just, tell you that. I just, just like the score again. Well, they kind of let me down title, once though. with the Korra game on PS4. Yeah, it's a that lot game... better than the Legend of Korra game. Yes, that absolutely. Game is... Well, game let's, is... let's put it this way. I, I finished Transformers <laughs> Devastation. I didn't finish Korra. I just wish it wasn't $50. It wasn't yeah. good. It was, it was $40, bucks, I think. Yeah, it was $39 here. No, it was 50 when I bought it. You got ripped off, my friend. You got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, damn it. No, yeah, I, how dare you, game? It was a budget how title. It was, def it was yeah. definitely a That's budget title here. Another subject we'll get into. Mm, maybe sometime. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we can we can we can gouge GameStop and stuff like that. What about mm. what about you, Jade? What did you what was your overall thing so, about the direct? I again the core and plus I don't really care. Like that was that was definitely they just I think we all agree on that one. They yeah. just wanted to fill a spot. They just wanted to go, he's not a character, and yeah, you know but what? Yeah, do it with something we could use. It's easy, let's just get it out there. It's new character, marketing. I would have taken Simon Belmont, personally. I would, uh, have, taken, like, I would have taken actual Knuckles. Way, <laughs> actual Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic, I would have taken Sonic Boom Knuckles. When I seen Tails, the Tails <laughs> flash across the screen, I actually lost it and just gone, what the <laughs> is this nightmare <laughs> here? And then when... The knuckles came on. I'm just like, oh my good lord, they did it. They did it. What? I think I've seen it. I've honestly think I've seen a cosplayer gone... dressed exactly like that. So I thought that was actually this. pretty funny. I, I was half expecting to see Sanic at that point because it would have made the tree. Shadow the Hedgehog at the moon. Oh god, and his guns. Shadow his guns. Mm. Anyway, oh, so oh um, that was yeah. Mm. Um, I was pretty excited about being out of our that was like my highlight but i have my bone to pick of it is that there she should have actually been part of the lineup and she should have been in the, the original original lineup when the game was released on the wii u to gather momentum yeah. for the wii u game i, I could get a slow I think it would have worked I, it would have worked too because like yeah. when smash brothers came out it was like right around the time bayonetta 2 was coming out too so at least had some like, hype behind it yeah exactly it would have yeah. been good but that's like obviously they just did the poll and it would have actually freed up a poll for maybe a more unique character that now isn't so tied to Nintendo to come into the roster because now when you think yeah. Bayonetta you now think Nintendo and I think the whole point of that was what isn't Nintendo that we can bring Nintendo and she's sort of now made a friend there so well I'm super excited and she's like oh my god I can't wait to play the crap out of her it's... 
Sega, Sega could have put like know. any any character on there. They could have put some virtual fighter characters in there. Yeah, they could have put a Akira yeah. from Virtual Fighter in there. Yeah. I would have, I would have been but, happy with that. You know, adding somebody that wasn't a Sonic character, I think that was a good move. Yeah. I, I personally don't think especially, they needed to put a Especially like, since Sonic like Bayonetta 2 didn't do very well in Japan. It didn't it did do very well. Well, it, well, it actually it did didn't really do well as well as yeah. Well, yeah, everywhere else but the States, it didn't do that great. Yeah. Uh, but in saying that, it sold a lot more than what they thought it was going to sell. So it still did better than expectations, yeah. but it didn't like, go... It's so close to like... Good for them. You know, good for them. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I, I definitely think we'll see uh, an, an NX version of Bayonetta at some point. Yeah, really yeah. Oh yeah, Bayonetta, like Bayonetta, a, Bayonetta, Bayonetta like, like at least like a Bayonetta spin-off. Like, I'm not expecting a Bayonetta 3 any time. Because so. they wrapped up the story no. very neatly well, number 2 at the end. Uh, yeah. They did. We'll yeah. yeah. So, so. I, mean, pole dance. I don't think there'd be a whole lot else to do with it, unless... It would be I a mean, I... story. She you doesn't do, die. You could do yeah. an extra yeah. story. I think it'd just be cool to see another big budget AAA game from Platinum. Because they... Because, I mean, like, I'm looking at Scalebound that's coming out on the X, on the like the I'm, Xbox. I'm definitely oh, getting that. Oh, I'm getting that yeah. all the it way. It looks cool. It looks cool. It looks it's like Dragon's, Dragon's Dogma man. mixed with, with, like, Monster Hunter. And, I mean... Oh, yeah. And it is Platinum Games. And I'm not saying that I buy anything Platinum Games makes, but it definitely I, looks I tend like to. something... It, like they're so good <laughs> at making different. just original original games that like you mm. don't really see that much of yeah and i think yeah. that's what makes them stand out so much because i mean they're the reason that resident evil 4 happened they're the reason why okami happened mm. they're the reason why beautiful joe happened oh, yeah. and devil oh, may cry every oh yeah. so, so all those major like, franchises okami, though. yeah okami, okami. Great. devil may okami. cry pretty much my teenage years yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, and I'm talking. I mean, and I'm talking about silver-haired Dante, not like you know dark-haired no, no, Dante. No. <laughs> yeah, not no, the yeah. uh, t- what was it? No, yeah. Ninja Theory, Ninja yeah. Theory's version, which wasn't bad. Which is, it wasn't, wasn't a bad, bad. game. It's but not it, a bad, I bad a character. Play, I did a whole playthrough of it. I freak. I still freak like it. But yeah, I like that game. I, I, it's not, it's not, like it's not the Dante that people remember. It's it's not, I remember one, two, and three. One was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I I always two was two wasn't so great. No one, no one really liked two. Two wasn't so great. Was I was so happy amazing. when two came out though. It was just like, oh man, it's two games in one because you got to play the whole game as a different character. It's, it's the it's whole like, Resident Evil thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I played it, and I'm just like, why am I not having fun with this? <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> I should be liking yeah, this. That's how I felt with the core game. I was like, this is weird. Yeah. yeah. But DMN, DMN, uh, DMC3 was really, really freaking fun. Like the origin story of how Dante came out. I mean, it was crazy hard, but it was fun. Yeah, it was so good. But, That's the other thing with those games too, isn't it? The difficulty see him hold pretty that pretty pizza. <laughs> 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 pizza. That's pizza. Right. Up, but yeah. All right. Well, since we've we've all rounded up the Smash Direct, it wasn't a very long direct. It only went for about thirty minutes. It was like going right. about thirty-three minutes in total. Mm, I think. Yeah. Like that. yeah, it was about thirty-three minutes. Which made like, me think I mean, initially. Oh, they're not going to Nobody tells anything. me about these Nintendo Directs. I'm so. Underwalked. You need to you need to follow <laughs> yeah, them on Twitter, I think. Yeah, and then, I, uh, follow them on yeah. the Twitter, man. The Twitter. The Twitter. Twitter. Well, well ne- next time there is a direct, uh, we will we will let you, everyone know. We'll tweet everyone in Double Jump, and we'll be like, watch it because we're gonna do it on podcast. On it. We yeah. tried to yeah. we tried to commentate on it live, but our uh, internet decided to go <laughs> no, so we couldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah. I got I got enough I got enough footage to record a reaction to everything that I felt was important. So that will probably go up if not tomorrow, but uh, yeah, it'll probably go up tomorrow. It's just a picture but, of Ben like this and this sliding to the moon from Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot I had to cut out because I'm just like I couldn't show a lot what was going down, you know, right there because of how excited I was. But, but you had to pan the to camera say, up and everything, just like uh, yeah, just exactly. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I had a brontosaurus head going on down there. Uh, I'm not even kidding. That's but that's that's, that's how you know more, Nintendo did a little bit job. more information that's... than I think people needed to know. But you're Ooh. welcome, internet. So there you These go. Jimmy's were go. rustled. Let's that's all. Ooh, yeah. many, many Jimmy's <laughs> rustled. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on the podcast, guys. We'll be do- we'll we'll be doing more of these going into next year, and we'll probably do one I, just before I Christmas. Actually, we'll do- I, I enjoyed this, man. Holy crap. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah, good. First, I'm one, get... first one in the in the in the can. In the can. First one. In first the one in the can. There. Even though we had technical difficulties for about half. I was thinking for the next one that we'll just do what we're looking forward to the new year and what we're yeah. looking forward to playing, like on our um on our channels as well. So we can also talk about like if we if we do it before Christmas time, we can do stuff about like you know holiday stuff and 
Holiday blood so. stories, because I got a couple of those I can talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. The people that work in retail. I'm looking at you, Ben and Jade. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the, re the retail. <laughs> retail. Yeah, 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 I'm working I don't do it Eve, anymore. So. And now I'm working Boxing Day, so, yep. yay. Good money, bad experience. Oh. So. But, yeah. Def definitely, definitely need to do this again. Yeah, we Keep will do it. I'll try and when we do another one. Up for it. Try and get Mel Wing to come on as well. I'm He's very. Yeah. I'm. And if we can, I mean, if we can bring guests in too, I mean, why not? We can yeah, bring in some other yeah. people if we have if we have an opportunity to. We will be. I can't say too much about it at the moment, but I, I'll, I'll let Kaz know uh, uh, in a kid. private message. Yeah, there'll be no kid Definitely. next time. I promise. Uh, <laughs> I'll let Kaz know. Ben already knows. We have got a special guest coming up next year, but I'll let Kaz know in the comments and Twitter. But I can't let the public know just yet because uh, I haven't penned in a day. It's really yet. good. You guys it's, are gonna like it. I promise. It's really really good. But uh, yeah, we do have a guest coming. Like, I'll, I'll try and get look, more. I guarantee it. <laughs> My God, but, yeah. no gear. Do you guys want to plug anything like on your channels? Before yeah, what's we, everybody before doing? We wrap this we'll up. Start with Kaz. What are you doing on your channel at the moment? Wait, what? What am I doing at the moment? On your channel. Yeah, what are you doing on your channel at the moment? What's up? No. Oh, um. Yeah. Right now, I'm uh still currently writing my review, which um <laughs> is. Yeah, how's the, script that come is, along? <laughs> the script is almost done. Uh, I still have to get the gameplay footage, but I started yeah. filming yesterday. Oh, good. Uh, and I've got a huge majority of it done. Um, there's only just I hear a, little, a really a handsome guy makes a cameo in it that goes by the name of me. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that that was just for the teaser trailer. Um, still, still best trailer I've ever seen. Still be yeah, the Star Wars trailer. I, I, have I love that pop. Yeah. I also have this is looking at Tina on the on the TV. I know. Like, oh, as soon as it panned out the van, I lost it. I was like, oh my god, this is funny. We wanted to do more, but like we just didn't have time to shoot anything. So. You guys, oh, you guys did so great for that. Thank you so much for, yeah. for that. You, you, you guys yeah, man, it's, made that show it's, like, it's, so great. Yeah, it's coming <laughs> but, um, along great, man. I think it's gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be so great. Um, I, I already told Ben. Um, like I did the first minute and thirty seconds of the whole video. Um, just the intro. Oh my gosh, me and my friend Tim spent hours just doing stuff together. Like we did. It's all improv too. Nice. Um, and that's it's, how I do mine too. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh man. Let's just say we're, we're proud of it. We're very proud of what we're doing. It, it's um, it's going to be I'm awesome, man. I can already tell. It's going to be good. The fact yeah. that you're putting so much work into it, it can't be bad, you know? Yeah. No, no. Especially since I watched, like, the beginning, like, 80 times. The just first make sure you had it. Yeah, just yeah. to be, like, because, you know, I got it. I don't, like, I'm not a huge perfectionist, but I like to keep things, like, you know. You'll like have to get it. At least yeah. Yeah. valuable. Like, it took so. me forever to do my cuts just for that small video for Ben, but... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Which I love, by the way. Fantastic but, um, video. Really other than freaking that, funny. Other I mean, than it's that, about me, back. but, like, that sounds so full of myself. It's <laughs> like, it's about me. Of course it's funny. <laughs> it's always about me. Because, <laughs> I so, mean, like, if you really think about it, most of the videos you guys have done have been about me, and I'm just I like, know. these videos are great, but I'm just like, wait, it's about like... me. <laughs> so... <laughs> we, yeah. we try to catch everybody's streams, but every time... Uh, Melling and and yourself. It's okay. I, I don't know if you you don't stream to your case. No. No, not often. Oh no. He occasionally like, does, don't you? Yeah, I, I haven't seen you do one. That's why I'm like, we don't catch him, so I it's just, like hard. To... I haven't had the time to really stream anything. Yeah. Right now, I got plenty of time. It's just right now, I'm so like. But you're working on I'm other so, stuff, so focused on this review because let me tell you something. I've been working on this review for over a month and I haven't been able to get to it because school has been in the way. So the motivation has been kind of like lacking, but as I was still, you know, doing all these side projects for school and everything, this review was still on my mind. Like I had tons of ideas going on and now they're actually in it. So there you go. You're getting around to doing what you yeah, actually want to awesome do. Yeah. So it's it's going to be a That's good the way to do it, man. What's Benny doing on his channel? All right. Well, uh, right now I I just released uh, another episode of GoGo Retro Super Mario 64. Mm -hmm. uh, we we fight Bowser in that one. I oh, nice. put a little fun. I put a few funny edits in that one because I kind of do some pretty <laughs> stupid stuff that I can't believe. So I threw a little bit of extra uh, funny <laughs> stuff in there for you. Uh, nice. I mentioned I mentioned YouTube guy uh, Jaden James in it because. Yep. Uh, because I go after the bunny button that one, so I mentioned oh, like, you guys when you did <laughs> yeah. that, and I, I mentioned the fan art that I did for you guys. I, um, love that bunny button. 
Um, I got I got that. I got another episode of Sonic Heroes coming out tomorrow, which should be interesting. Uh, yes. I'm currently working on my my holiday video, my my holiday video slash best games of 2015, which yes. I'm trying to which I'm trying to turn into a actual top ten slash like you know like I guess like throwback to like a Christmas classic type of deal. <laughs> So oh, like nice. I'm actually I'm actually gonna put some effort into this and actually try to make no. a little funny skit I, type thing out of this. I was contemplating doing a best games of 2015 thing too, but since I have barely had enough time to play anything uh, towards the end of this year, uh, yeah. I'm I'm looking more towards like guilty pleasure games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that was like thing, that right? was. That was my we main just... thing too, is like, because everything on the list that's going to be in the video, they're all games that I finished. They can, uh, yeah. like, I made sure that I don't put games that are just like, because I know a lot, because I really wanted to put Undertale on there, but I haven't. Finished I haven't it, played so. that yet. I, I haven't just, finished and, it yet either. I've only played. And it I was gonna, I was also yep. gonna put, um, what was the other one that I was gonna do? Anyway, besides the point, there were there were a couple games. It was that something I you had I was finished. gonna do like. Yeah, I was gonna put fall. I was gonna put Fallout Four on there too because I really Ooh. like Fallout Four, but I'm not done with it. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm like busting my butt trying to finish The Witcher Three because I want that on the list. So I need to finish that yeah, one. See, that uh, is the problem. Where are you up to, Ben? That was the problem. With my uh, I like. I just now got to the area where um you you track down where Siri first was. I'm really I'm really early in the game. I'm like not even far. Oh, but, like yeah, I, th I think really... the reason why is. Yeah, I'm, not I'm really, really early in chapter two. I'll give you a, I'll give <laughs> I'll you the tip because I'm right at the end where I'm about to get Siri. Yeah. Do mm -hmm. all of the side quests. So when you get gotcha. your main quest right. and you get all your side quests, do all the side quests mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Then do the main storyline, go to the next area, then you get gotcha. all the side quests because you'll need to do them anyway when you go all the way to Cow Mohen, which is what yeah. I'm at. But I did most mm -hmm. of my side quests, so most of them, all I have to do is talk to a person, and then I complete that quest. Nice. Whereas nice. if I needed to go back, I needed to do all the quests, and then I needed to do, then that quest would have completed. It would have taken. Gotcha. It it just sort of makes it a bit. Yeah. I think it's also better because you also level up and you you just smash through the the main quest a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. I think like the main thing what I'm trying to do is like I want to get this video done because like uh. Because, like, I'm really, really wanting this project to just, like, happen. Because, yeah. like, there's been a lot of projects that I've done, that I've worked on, that I was really, really happy with, but I never finished. And then they ended up just on the cutting room floor. It's like me. Because, like, there's, like there's the one summer. in... It's yeah, because there's, like, there's one there's one particular that I was going to do for Halloween. Like, I had, yeah. a, I had a whole thing, sh like, ready for Halloween. I was going to do a live, a live action slime. Oh, like, basically, <laughs> like, like, because, like, because I know it's, like, that is a, a beaten to death horse. Let's just get that out of the way. But it was yeah. the first video, it was the first game that I ever played on my channel, like, way back before I even knew how to make YouTube work. Right. And like what I decided to do is like I basically started talking to people. It was like you know what everybody says this game is so scary and everything like that, but it's like it can't be all scary. So what ends up happening is like I sit, I'm sitting at the computer and everything like that, and then I start playing, and then it slowly zooms into the screen of the game, and then it's just basically me playing Slender, but it's like in a live action thing where I'm actually in the woods and everything like that. That ends up leading to the Slender Man actually taking me. And everything like that. And for some reason, at the end of it, I have no pants on. <laughs> so, <laughs> that sounds like it would have been great. <laughs> but the only reason why it never actually could have happened is just because when when I was filming it and everything like that, that's when a lot of like my financial troubles came in. That's when I lost a lot of my equipment and everything like that. So a lot of the stuff that I shot, because I had I had pretty much had the entire thing done. It was about I can honestly say it was about ninety eight percent done. Like, I only had to do some After Effects and everything like that, and I would have finished it. Yeah. But since all that stuff happened, it ended up going on the chopping block, and I never got to finish it. So eventually, yeah. at some point, I actually want to go back and do it. But, you know, it's well, just speaking like, I don't about, like, uh, chopping I don't like blocks. to leave things unfinished. Don't, I don't like to leave things unfinished. Well, speaking about chopping blocks and leaving things unfinished, uh, <laughs> you have decided to give uh, Minecraft Story Mode the chop. Yes, yes, and and that that just makes me sound very condescending when I say that. That oh, <laughs> I'm not that's why I was like, I, oh, wait a second. <laughs> but like, I think I, the main reason why I decided to stop uh, Minecraft Story Mode, it's not because I hated the game. It's not because I didn't like it. Because I think it's I think it was a really enjoyable game. I thought it was really fun, and I really had a lot of fun with it. But it's just 
one, I feel like I was doing too many Telltale games on my channel already, because I was doing that one, I was doing Tales from the Borderlands, and I was doing Game of Thrones. Yeah, saturation's a, a big thing. You only thing have to do one channel. of them. Like, yeah. And on top of that, and on top of that, it's very hard to do commentary for a game that's very, very dialogue based. So, like, I, I try to make it interesting, you know, when the QTEs happen oh, yeah. and everything like that. That's why I did it. Tr- oh, so. <laughs> yeah, and there's a I, lot to like, talk about. <laughs> and it was just like. It's it just got to the point where it's like because I fi- I filmed another episode of it and then I just I watched it back and I'm just like it didn't I just didn't feel like I was having fun with it anymore, and mm. when I when I'm one of those people when I'm not having fun recording a video I feel like it's not going to make for a good video and if I don't feel like it's going to make yeah, a good video I'm not going to release it. I've no, exactly right. right. That was the same with us and Yoshi's um Yoshi's new yarn or whatever is Yoshi's yarn. Like Yoshi's woolly bottle. That's yeah, what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was really fun. But then it just got so repetitive. It's not fun to watch. But it was it yeah, was like repetitive exactly. in a bad way, and I was like, "This is really cute, and I really love what Nintendo's done with it." But at the same time, I'm not having fun with it. So it's also why I've decided not to um, stream 100 percent of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X because uh, there are certain parts of that game where I've already spent two hours just trying to uh, find one item. That's not fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's no, engaging no. to play, but that's yeah. one of the no, reasons I... why I never. That's why I didn't do a let's play on Metal Gear Solid Five because yeah, that exactly. is, I love that yeah, game. Yeah. That is like there's, that's probably one of my favorite games of this year. But there's, there's still, I watch so people play that. In that. Doing that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I watch people I... play that game, but it gets boring because they're just like circling around this one guy. They get scenes so they get they die, and then they got to do it over and over and over and over again. And by the time yeah. they're done three times, you're like, mm, whatever. Yeah. I like, mean, I was able to I... pump three quiet videos out of that thing, so, I mean, that's good enough for me. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's all you need, man. That's yeah. all you need. Like, I mean, even I had trouble, like, in the past, trying to actually find a game that was actually fun for me to enjoy. Like, when yeah. I started The Suffering, I was having fun for a bit, and then I was like, there's really not much to say in this, because... Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're kind no, of that's just what I mean. We're doing Shen, Shenmue at the moment people. on Dreamcast. I don't yes. think I had fun actually playing anything until uh, I started King's Quest. Yeah, yeah. King's Quest is fun. Because there's a lot to to say with that one. There's a lot you I mean, can point out King, in that game. King's Quest is better than most of the Telltale games that I've played, and I'm I ashamed. Have, I actually haven't had a chance. I, I'm really to play mad the that they King's haven't Quest? like released. And, and you know what? It's good that they haven't released another chapter so quickly. I think it's yeah, going to be in January. Slow. I think they yeah. said January is one of the next ones coming out. Well, you, yeah. you can play the first chapter, Ben. It's on It's on my profile, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been Get meaning out. to download it, but it's just like... I haven't had time because I've been trying to finish everything else and occasionally playing a little bit of Star Wars Battlefront. It's pretty good. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of humor in in the uh, King's Quest game. Yeah, it's it's a very uh, yeah. But yeah, it's just like on top of that, like another thing too is just like I'm trying to like make sure like the videos that I'm doing too when I put them out, I want to make sure that they don't get copyright hit because. Because I just want to talk about this really quick. The, the we, nightmare we that, that I had with my Mario dance video. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I, oh I can understand. I put, I, put, I put so much into that video, and it was only 45 <laughs> seconds long. Yeah. And as soon as it uploaded, YouTube just slammed me. He's like, we're muting your video, and we're going to pull it down. And I'm like, yeah. why? <laughs> why are you pulling my video down? It's like, because you have a licensed song in here. And I'm just like, you're breaking my balls, See, Drake. I, I mean, I've, your song's I've nearly not even that good. <laughs> But then I, like, I, I, they they I flag just, I every one of our Zelda videos because of the, the theme yeah, songs. Ninten- Nintendo but they like never the mute it. Videos. They never mute it. They just say we can't monetize it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm so like, whatever. Pretty much what I ended up doing is I had to I had to like go through like the loopholes that I could, and I figured out that your video will if you have copyrighted music in your video, it won't get flagged if you only have about 30 seconds of the audio in your video. Yeah, no so that's why, the video's seconds, only, yeah. that's why the video is only 30 seconds long, because honestly yeah. it was longer than that. And yeah. I mean, the video is not even that crazy. It's just Mario, like, you know, popping on the vine to that song point. Yeah, it's just and I tried song to put, that's so specific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's another reason specific. why a lot, of, like, at the end of a lot of my videos with my end slates, like, like a lot of the songs that are playing, some of them could get copyrighted, but since they're only 30 seconds, they don't get copyrighted, so... Yeah, yeah, I noticed I when I was um, doing that best of of um, video, your Dead of Beach Volleyball actually had two mutes in it from Jeez. 
from on, Twitch. On Twitch, of all places. Yep. Um, yeah. And it was in the weirdest spot. It was when you failed the first time, and it was the ending music video right at the end, and then yeah. the beginning. And then it was like some song that... randomly in it. And I was like, Yeah, I hated it... the fact that they muted that part because I actually like made up lyrics to the end of that song. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually, I thought yeah. they were actually pretty funny. And yeah. I was like, like I they couldn't... muted them. Yeah, and I was like, I will if, never know. If I knew what that yeah. was, I would have used it, but I. Just oh, didn't yeah. have it. But I'm I'm gonna play that game again very very soon, so not even worry about it. That, I'm gonna play the third one too. Wait, yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. <laughs> that's I'm another whole that's another whole podcast trace. that one. So what that's are we doing, kinda, James? I'm literally I'm literally gonna buy a PS4 just to play that game. That's <laughs> wait wait to say <laughs> what? So sad. To play the what DOA again? Extreme, Dead or Alive Extreme, Extreme Three. Three. Extreme Three. So, dude, I Boob will be Simulator 2015. Dude. I will. I need oh, that yeah. game. I need that game so <laughs> much. If we have a PS4 it. when that game's around, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get the chance. I need Tina to love me again, so <laughs> I can make sure that I can make that <laughs> happen. You just be Tina. So you be don't Tina. Know. It's no fun. It's no. It's no, no fun that way. He wants to. Her, he wants to gain her love. I don't. I don't get to take her out on dates to buy her stuff, and she gets to tell me, "He's like, I'm having fun with you," in her cute little like you know oh, country man. accent. That's I'm funny. getting too much into this and just really showing off how alone I am. So I'm gonna hey, stop. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just to uh, wrap wrap up the podcast because we're going for an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, mm. We we're just going to talk about like we're we're playing Shenmue. Obviously, we're on the third disc already as of this morning. Oh, third yes. um, yeah, so we you know, we I will have be done. that game, and I can't play it because my freaking Dreamcast doesn't like to read the disc all the way through. It'll uh, play for a bit. Sounds like you're the same problem I did. <laughs> don't, don't get me started on that. I'm telling Ben he can fix this. Tennis and it'll work. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. Okay, and then if when yours I get to, is like, reading, match... if yours is reading but not all the way, then you've got more, you've got less of a problem than Ben has. But Yeah, mine just uh, stopped working. His just stopped working. Yours is very fixable, though. to be calibrated. I looked up videos yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, it's very I'm easy. You just touch it. Yeah. No, 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 seriously. No, no, James. Seriously, it's easy. I'll send you a thing on Twitter, uh, like yeah. just a, an easy guide to follow, and all it is is like a screwdriver, turn a tiny bit, you'll be good. Yeah. Oh, but sorry. yes, I want, I want to hear what Jade and James are doing we, on yes, their Twitch streams on. and yeah. their and their videos, and then we are going to be... and Kaz will say something if we're doing any stream stuff. So, yeah. so we're working on Shenmue like, now. Working on Shenmue on Twitch, um, but in the new year, we're actually going to start doing reviews um, mm. on our QTA channel. Right. So, okay. um, variety, variety because... is more than those boring I'm let's plays that I do. Something. I like. <laughs> yeah, because right now it's just like it's so insanely busy with like work, mm. and that like Ben knows the feels of two jobs and Christmas. It's just like you get no time to even you know. To, yeah. to do anything, but we're we're actually going to go like we're gonna this is the longest I've sat today. I've been, this is the <laughs> I know, like, same for us too. Yeah, Shoot. like we've um, worked for hours on end, but not like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but like, yeah, we're we're going to start doing like proper reviews when a game comes out. We're going to quickly so that. because you know that mm. GameStop, uh, you know, discount that mm -hmm. I yeah. We're also going to be doing uh, live reactions to the next directs and anything Sony, Microsoft, and all that have. So we're going to um, do that as yeah. well. Big so plan any, for E3. Any, yeah, anytime there's something like E3, Spe we're going to record it live. E3, speaking of E3, guys, I have to mention this now. I do, I do have a friend of mine who is, like, I'm not going to say he's, like, in the industry, mm. but he has a lot to do with it. And he's actually been going to E3 for, like, the past four years now. Oh, yeah. And I've been talking to him lately, and I'm trying to see if I can work something out. And if at all possible, we might actually see if I can get us to go to E3 this year. So yes. I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot of like, you know, I guess you could say like networking, if that's the right thing. Let me exchange you have like, to save up tickets to go see Because it's because yeah. it's pretty much there's, from what I'm hearing is like you can't go to E3 unless you're a member of the press. Yeah, it's and very since... easy to get in if you have a working website and such as well. We yeah. we were going to do it with Game Drive, and I actually did apply to get tickets at one point, and they approved mm -hmm. us. Um, but we couldn't. So and we couldn't. That's, that's another reason why. Yeah. Since now we're doing the like, we have the website now. And we're all like YouTubers and everything like that. That's a form of like media press, so yeah. that actually looks oh, good on go. us. Yeah. 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 If we start doing so, full pl fully fledged reviews as well, it just shows that we're yeah. actually you know we're not just there to yeah. play games, but they're actually yeah. 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 So I mean, that's 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 that kind of what I'm working on underneath, so that, as well as like the sponsorship thing I told you about. So if you get definitely, definitely something for that. 
Well, it's then... definitely something that might actually come come like a bloom for us. Yeah. But when I get more info on it, I will definitely let you guys the know. The thing I'm starting reviewing. <laughs> 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 yeah, I need I need to start like, doing other. That's stuff something I would love to do plays. though, just to like, you just know, not just to be there just to play the games, but just to yeah. like. See, be yeah, there I just, and just I honestly, like, I honestly, and I would love to. Yeah, I would love to interview people. That'd be like, really yeah, cool. That'd be something that we'd do totally. Like we'd have, even like, if like we can't be there, like, we'd make sure we just have a camera and just a decent mic with yeah. us so that we can yeah. actually yeah. do reviews. And well. people will, and people will talk to Jaden James because they have accents and people like. Yeah, yeah. We hear from the international press. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like well, me and James know yeah. not what to do because, like, we were invited to like some little e free show that my work put on, and mm. it was so cringy and bad because they were just like, yeah, you like this. We're just egg. like, you did everything wrong anyway. <laughs> we know what to not do. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, they, so Jay, firstly, they so sent Jay someone Jay. that didn't know anything about games. Yeah, you guys, you guys are finishing up Shenmue. We're finishing uh, up Shenmue, you... and we're going to move on to something else. But I'm not sure okay. if it's going to be Shenmue 2 directly, or if it's going to be uh, another game in between. I'm going to be doing some little things about Xenoblade as well, but it's definitely <laughs> not going to be like full on from Wait, level the first one. To... one? No, no. Uh, might... oh, new one. Yeah. I yeah. might do another Mario game because Mario um, gets yeah, I think do... coming to Wii. Then we might actually <laughs> just do that. Yeah, we might yeah. get onto Galaxy. I was, I was thinking about doing that too. I was thinking about doing Galaxy 2 since it's already on the Wii, but... Yeah, we have that. We're on. not doing 100% though. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. Not for those ones. <laughs> not for those <laughs> ones. Like, those we'll, ones are way too we'll good. just finish the game. Plus, if you yeah. already had Super Luigi Galaxy, that would be fun and I suppose we. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose we, uh, we have to start another Zelda at some point, because that's kind of the thing yeah. we get known, we're known for. Um, so yeah. between Mario you guys and Zelda. need to do that. You guys will probably have to get to it before I do, because I finished up uh, Ocarina of Time. So. Well, I think the next one we're going to do is we make HD. We make HD, but I've got to get it. It's still sixty dollars in store, so I'm still biding my time for a buy. Uh, uh, he has it. Ben has it. He's reaching for copies. it. I have two oh, copies. Oh, you, like... you got the shiny copy. That didn't even come out. We yet. didn't get that here. Like, I, if if there's a like, wait, is it they're like region locked? They're selling that at Best Buy. Yeah, they're region locked, dude. Dude, I wanted to buy it at Best Buy. If it wasn't region locked, I'd send it to you guys because I uh, have just send me the cover without the. I really want to buy that. Just steal the cover. Just steal the case with the cover. I was at Best Buy a few months ago, and I really is. wanted to buy that because GameStop, mm. I just they they don't have it complete with the manual. But mm -hmm. the problem with Best Buy is every game I bought from there mm. has been defective. It doesn't matter. I'm talking, it's serious. to me because I can't I'm talking use like it. when I was a kid. I I remember when I was a kid, like I bought. Black Ops, or no, it was um, Call of Duty World. No, you World. bought Call of Duty, you nerd. Sorry. I was <laughs> he said duty. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't I mean to burn you, man. I'm like, just kidding. For some reason, the campaign would freeze at a certain point. No, that's just the campaign. That's that's it. They actually froze doing them from now on. No, it was <laughs> the game that's that I like... bought from Best Buy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I get you. I also bought. I remember that's also that's... buying. Like Lord of the Rings Conquest, oh, yeah. and Ooh. for the four-player mode, the fourth screen was pitch black. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm never nah, buying from Best we Buy. We only had yeah. one defective then, game, and like, it came. Like, I was a really... Best Buy. I was like, don't yeah. do it. He, don't. he did it anyway. I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust those blue shirts, man. Wow, that sounded racist. Wow, I don't that trust really them. Did. Don't trust them <laughs> you said blue shirts. The blue <laughs> shirt. <laughs> How yeah. dare they? Wait until the uh, green shirts here about this. I have blue shirts. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're known for their blue shirts. My work shirt. uniform is like a blue. nice, beautiful blue. <laughs> it's, not <laughs> it's not Best Buy. It's not Best Buy. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. I'm still, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still technically GameStop. Just... Well, yeah. So, it's, yeah. I, guess, uh, I guess I'll mention what I'm doing on like stream and stuff now. Um, I'm going to finish up. I need to finish up Trauma Center. New blood because yep because uh, Dr. 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 Ben is Dr. Yes. Dr. Ben he he recently discovered Cynthia and she she's a beautiful she's a beautiful woman and I need to spend some more time with her um, but I also have lives I also have lives to save so you know that's something I have to do too um, yeah your social <laughs> life that's what you gotta save in the game exactly exactly <laughs> um, so I need I'm gonna finish that up I'm thinking about. Well, I'm probably gonna. I also have to finish up Luigi's Mansion because I'm like almost completely done with that. But I need to. I'm gonna start a new game like strictly for Wednesday 
like since like I had Zelda Wednesday going on and everything like that, and since I finished it, I think I'm debating on whether or not it should be this game for for Wednesdays. I'm thinking I should do Pik Pikmin three. Pikmin three. I could do Pikmin three, or I could do. I have all my games right here, so. Uh, I'm you, thinking you need maybe... to do Bob, Bobby's Funhouse, man, or whatever his Dream House, Bobby's Dream House. I'm looking into that one, and I'm I'm probably probably I would I'd, I'd, I would do it just because it would be funny as hell. But and since since I'm on such like a platinum games kick, I'm thinking I might I possibly do Beautiful Joe. Beautiful oh, Joe. Yeah. Beautiful Joe. And I since now I'm running at my oh, since I'm running my stream now at 60 frames per second. If it's for stream, yeah. yeah, exactly. If it's for streams, dude, I would say definitely do Beautiful Joe. Beautiful, mainly yeah. because you're going to get a lot more people go. Oh, I haven't seen it for ages, or I don't even know what that is. That so, Pikmin Three is a very slow paced game. Pikmin Three is yeah. very slow. That's going to be like my asthma game where I'm just like, yeah, guys, let's just chill out, play some Pikmin. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm, I'm like half asleep right now, but Pikmin will keep me awake. Mm -hmm. but, I'm going to be like that smooth radio DJ. Oh, All yeah, right. So, All right. So we're picking up a Duracell battery. Coming up next, we we're going to pick up that fruit. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Back after these messages. <laughs> these freaking bull borbs. Oh, my God. I can't get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up to today's podcast. It's been going on for All right. ages, but it's good. It's been good. It's been fun. I think we'll do a lot more of them. Um, we maybe should some definitely shit. do one very, very soon. So keep, yeah. keep you guys yeah. posted. Follow us on so, Twitter if you if you want to know more. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Follow us on Twitter. Also, yeah, PT, probably should... which is myself and James. We've got uh, Ben Chess 360, which is Ben right here. And then we also have uh, Stay Raunchy, which is Kaz or John. So you can follow <laughs> us all on Twitter. Doesn't matter what you call me. <laughs> as long as it's not late for dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm here till Thursday. That's right. <laughs> Try the veal. Try the veal. <laughs> We'll have all the links to our respective Twitters and our um, YouTube pages and all our... They'll be all in the, they all be in the links I'll down below. Guys they will the be in the description yes. below. That's right. right. That's where you better be. follow Daddy, these people. You, you guys Daddy, better Daddy. follow these people. <laughs> <laughs> trust me. Trust me. I only recommend the most attractive find people. You. So these three beautiful people here. Definitely check them out. We're all strong I'm not, guys. I'm not, just, I'm not just giving them a big head. It's true. And, and if you don't want to follow these guys, we can negotiate. Mm, that's right. We'll if follow a gremlin like me can, can make it here, you guys can. You guys will that's enjoy it, it too. I was apologize for the, the the child interruptions yes. that we've had all stream. He's going to be on he's, next week's podcast. He's, he's got stealing, a lot to say he's too. Stealing chocolate money, so. Yeah. Babe, yeah. he's stealing our chocolate money again. Uh, he's always stealing our money. This time it's chocolate. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good afternoon. We will see you on the next podcast. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.